So we'll see how we can query the records. Now, first we'll see we'll create a small process for query purpose. Let's create the query customers and try to save this process on the demo. So if a query is nothing but it's an inbound connector and you can use the database get method now. This get method you can use as connection is not uh, uh, different from the map based on the action. The connection will be same either get or send but operation will be very depends upon the action you selected. Operation is, uh, is uh, specific to get and send both are different. Now we will just uh, configure the click on operation and click on the profile and then select it here. See here what we can do like uh, let's say you have uh, two tables are there. Two tables are there parent and child tables and you wanted to pull out the tables. Let's say you are have the tables or customer and then another table called items. Items all the customer items was there available in one of the table and customers was there in another table. Now you wanted to pull out all the customer along with these items. So in that case what you can do you can add a child statement also here. Don't really need to add it. You can use all your joining joining query. You can customize SQL query such a way that you can pull all the records from the multiple tables. For that purpose we can use the SQL joins. This is the future of the SQL joins. Means we can join one or more than one table while pulling all the records from the tables. So and you can add any number of things. Go for import. Now I wanted to import the customer's table structure. Even while inserting the data into database also, if you wanted to insert the same set of things in parent-child relationship, you don't need to create a duplicate connectors. You don't need to create a duplicate connectors. You can use the you can use the parent and child statement. Uh, let me I think my database is down. Let me just start it here. So actually, okay, let me start it here. Okay, we'll, we'll try just about 5 minutes. Let's view this as a user naming convention customer. query db operation. Now let's see if it is started. I think it is started. We will try to import it again. Yes, this is the table we were just clicking. I wanted to select all the columns. Click on finish. Now you can see that your table will automatically, your, your query is automatically formulated. But you can customize this query. Depends on the requirement. Maybe let's say you wanted to have the customer I, uh, customer details where number of orders is greater than uh, 3000. Now we wanted to query this situation, this kind of a uh, uh, filter you wanted to do it. So in that case you can just, you can customize all your query. You can just add a where, where statement where number of orders greater than the question mark. The question mark value you can pass a prepaid parameter. And first we will see this one and this, then we can let's move for the prepaid parameters, how we can use the prepaid parameters. Let's click on 7 close.
let's try to query this one we will be able to see how many records was available if you see there is the slash is the hash is the column separator how many records are there one two three four five six records are there this will be highest we have inserted six records so this uh, now we were able to query the specific record all the all the record from db now let's say i wanted to query only specific record let's say i wanted to query only specific record how we can do it uh, let's uh, give the 148 is a error 196 is a error customary let's try to this i don't want to query all the records i wanted to query based on some uh, particular filter uh, let's say i wanted to add an a parameter parameter and i wanted to customize the query here always when you are defining a parameters what you can do you just uh, put uh, some p underscore so it will be more easy to identify now i am just adding a parameter here i want it to customize this query such a way that i have to filter it as of now there is no filter this is our query filtering i am adding where cust id cust id is equal to i can directly put the value maybe what is the value i wanted to query 106 196 wherever 196 is there but if i directly write it here 196 each and every time I execute a connector only the same record will be same filtering will be applied instead of I write, I write here the hard coded value what I can do I can put a question mark this question mark is a placeholder this question mark we can replace the value with this parameter if a question mark is nothing but at runtime this question mark corresponding place will be taken value here whatever the value you will be passing to this parameter the same value will be replaced at runtime this is the what we can prepared prepared parameters concepts prepared parameter concepts what exactly we can do with this one using prepared parameter concepts we can able to pass the values dynamically and at the design time we can uh, keep the question mark as a placeholder but one thing is if you have added multiple uh, uh, parameters here and you need to make sure this uh, question mark nothing but it will take sequence when multiple things are there first thing is this one like say i wanted to add one more thing let's say i have added two two queries two columns here and then what i can do let me add one more parameter here and custom equal to something question mark here okay let's say i'm adding two parameters here one is a cust id for a cust id also i wanted to pass value dynamically and cust name also i wanted to pass a value dynamically in this way you have had two parameters let's say you have if you are not giving proper uh, if you are not giving proper uh, order in that case whatever what will happen whatever the question the first question mark will take the value will first question mark will be replaced with the customer name value and second question mark will replace the uh, id value it means that it will be the prepared parameters will not do any validation of a data what field you are passing to which uh, uh, column so you have to manipulate that you have to make sure uh, the sequence should be proper so in this case if i map uh, the first question mark will be replaced by cust name cust id equal to cust name this is the wrong condition so i have to adjust these parameters such a way the query accepts as of now i wanted to only based on 
ट्रस्ट आईडी डिलीट कर दिया ओके सो आई हैव एडेड अ फिल्टरिंग कंडीशन नो नो द कांसेप्ट इज वेयर कैन आई पास द वैल्यू फॉर दिस वन वेयर कैन आई पास द वैल्यू दिस वन आई कैन पास अ वैल्यू इन द पैरामीटर स्टैम इफ यू डोंट डिफाइन If you don't define that filtering criteria and parameter, you won't get this value. You won't get this parameter name. So by default, the database connector will not have any parameters until unless you define it on the database profile. The parameters nothing but it's a kind of a filtering filtering criteria. Now you wanted to query only the 9060 part. Let's click on OK. And then test it here. Okay, what is giving here? Missing in or out parameter index was there. Did I remove that? Or oh, not? Okay. Yes, we got it. One people. One ninety-six, and this you got only one picture here. Now, I wanted to run the existing process. How it was? This is the part that we did. Let's run this process once again. Ideally, we should supposed to get a, a primary key constant error because the same record is already been available here. So what I wanted to uh, show here is, will uh, if I run the same process again and again, I'll be getting a primary key constant because the same uh, customer ID is already available in DB. Now we already know how how to query it. If I can uh, check a condition before inserting here. If this particular customer ID is already available in database, I wanted to go ahead and update it. If this particular customer is not available in database, then I want to go for the insert. So this is the two things I wanted to show you that here. Let's uh, uh, change this process. We already have an insert process. Let's add the query decision part where we can verify whether you know, to insert or update it, and then we can update. We can add the path update path. Let's alter the same. Stop the process, and now let's add the decision. If you wanted to test, uh, check that kind of it any time. Only if you wanted to execute one branch, then you can have to put decision. The decision basically returns a true value based on the condition. If the condition gets uh, whatever the condition is specified in the first and second value arguments, the condition gets satisfied. Then true branch will be executed. The condition is false. The condition is getting false, and then only false path will be executed. It means at any point of time, uh, decisions either true or false will be executed. It's not like always a true false both will be executed. Okay. Let's continue this one. Let's uh, we want how to configure the in this decision. I wanted to. Query the connector. I wanted to query the connector, and then I wanted to verify it whether the uh, whether uh, the particular customer ID is available or not. For that, if you wanted to query any other connector, wanted to query any other connector, you can use the connector call. But as of now, we don't have any database here. So we'll just check it that we don't have any database. The reason is we have the one more option here for SQL statement. SQL statement. It means 
this is the statement that directly given in the database uh, in the decision to for to do the lookups in database for other than uh, the database connectors you can use a connector call let's say you wanted to do a lookup on success factor uh, instance in that case you can use a connector call any other connector other than the database we have the connector call only for database you come across this one so let's see here select I wanted to check whether this particular record is there or not. I wanted to check count star. Count star from customers. Customer. Where cust ID equal to. Same again prepared parameter concepts. For this prepared parameter concepts, from where I am uh, mapping the values here is. I wanted to map whatever I am getting in that file the disk connector I'll be getting a CSV file in that CSV file whatever the uh, data I'm getting from that data I wanted to map it here go for profile element go for plot file let's see the plot file or CSV file what is the one I mean we have configured XML here this is an XML file customers XML file so we'll, we'll try to configure the same XML from there also. Sorry, here is XML. This is the one we wanted to. The customer that I want to map. For this, we have to specify the connection. How many number of columns you want written? Only one character. Is there any type? Integer. Because if this particular with this count, if any record is available, then we will get the count as a 1. Otherwise, we will get the count as a 0. If count equal to 0. count equal to 0 it means that particular record is not available then we can go for insert otherwise we can go for update we can put some kind of reasonable label if not present means count equal to 0 then go with this part else we will go with this part let's use a map one more map but this time we have to update a db here put the database connector just change the option to send select the connector On profile, click on statement. Yes, we can use a dynamic update here. Click on import, go here. I wanted to import a profile structure here. on this column select so whatever the columns you wanted to update it whatever the columns you wanted to update it you can select all the column and later we by default you can select all the columns and then we can delete it so this is the columns and now since the customer id is in primary key i cannot able to update it even i cannot able, i mean i don't want to update the column and the only thing is I wanted to update these two columns. How I wanted to identify the records based on the customer ID. So based on the customer ID, I wanted to update these two columns. Number of orders and then order date.
less than good and now we just have to map it so i think we can just only thing is just have to replace this with the replace with the update profile so we can directly copy paste this one in this map let's go this map copy paste here no need to put dependence here if you select dependent mean well, the, you know, both the profiles will be gets copied and just put this as a update and this thing you no need to modify this thing i wanted to update it to update profile but for this one i don't want to map the from the input field i want to update the last get current data get current date whatever the current date i was coming i wanted to update this current date and for the customer id i wanted to call this customer id this is the things i wanted to update it you can save and close and then we have not selected the profile this is the profile i want to select it. and one thing we have to identify here is and we have a multiple customers i wanted to split it based on one customer because i i wanted to check it based on the i am passing the profile value here when you are passing a profile value when you have multiple customers always it will take the first customer corresponding customer id here first customer corresponding customer id here that is the reason we have uh, we have to use the splitting here how we can split it here based on the, we have one activity called data process the data process we can use the splitting here splitting why i am splitting here here in what as of now in one document i will be getting five or six customer records now i wanted to make sure one document should have only one customer now as of now one document he has a five customers of six customers i wanted to make one document with one customer information like documents on what basis you want to split based on the profile xml profile and then select the xml profile here and you need to select the splitting element this is a repeating almost mostly you have to select the repeating element as a split element a customer is a repeating element Here what it will do when when the data process will actually uh, receives the one document that one document is converted into multiple documents here and for each document it will just verify it for each document it will verify whether the customer id is present or not based on that it will uh, take the path whether it uh, has to go for insert or update it and then let's see how we can run it we can save run test So since all the records are available here, so I'll just going for uh, I'll just going for update. Okay, let's see. Let's try to update one of the record here. Let me remove my input samples. This is the one. We update this. One of the ID as a let's say this is a two hundred and this is a two fifty. Okay, now we'll just uh, we have updated this file. 
and now we'll just verify that how many documents received here is only one document it means only one document is received but output of the split where you can see input here how many documents received here is six or seven how many number of records are there based on it will record it will split each uh, customer into separate profile and then you can see each and everything have only one element only one customer record will be there now let's uh, rerun this process once again you can see mostly the splitting uh, this uh, data process split and then data process and then the decision always will see all these options uh, mostly in our real time projects this is the purpose mostly we will use it now you can see how many documents it went insert two documents are went how many documents it went for four documents it went so this is the way how we can use the query even we can use the you don't need to use the sql statement here you really can use the query in the decision here but the thing is you don't have in the decision to call a connector so we have uh, uh, seen how to query how to do a lookup sql lookups and uh, this is how sql lookups will be available here will ask you in one of the uh, certific certification question how you can configure it so it's very important and uh, we will see the how we can use the uh, database connector to query all the data and based on the data that we query how we can generate a xml profile and the flat file profile and then json profile we will see these things tomorrow